Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I just wanted to come in and run my mouth and talk about the people. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get into this mess. This is according to the Jasmine brand. So Andy Cohen cleared in misconduct investigation brought forth by Brandy Glanville and Leah McSweeney. Um, so Andy Cohen's position at Bravo has been cleared in a misconduct investigation according to TMZ. The network confirmed Thursday that Andy and Watch What Happens Live will continue on through 2025. Um, a Bravo rep tells the outlet that the outside investigation into the recent allegations made by Brandy Glanville and Leah McSweeney against Andy Cohen has now been completed and the claims were found to be unsubstantiated. Glanville has accused him of asking her to have sex in front of him. Leah claims he pushed her to drink and do other substances. Y'all happy to see Andy vindicated? Yeah. I also want to read something that... Um, Lisa Vanderpump said, this is, was on, this was on U.S. Weekly. Um, Lisa Vanderpump, in light of Max Sweeney's fouling, uh, multiple housewives came to Cohen's defense, including R.H.O.B.H. alum Lisa Vanderpump. Nobody gets a good edit on the show. That's for a fact. Uh, Vanderpump 63 told TMZ on March the 2nd. And Andy doing Coca-Lina, I know because I've partied with him hundreds of times in my business, in my house, in New York. I've never seen anything like that. I can categorically say, no, he wouldn't do that. I know for a fact he wouldn't do that. Girl. <sighs> this, is what I, this, is what, this is what I think. I think that when it comes to Andy Cohen, they don't have regular jobs like what they do is not like a regular nine to five now they still have human resources they still you know can get fired and all that carrying on right but we know that it's not like a regular job i believe that andy does um become friendly with some of his employees um i believe Kathy Griffin, when she came out and said that Andy offered her a little snowman one time, um, I believe Andy indulges. I do. <laughs> um, you can party with someone a hundred times and not, girl. It don't take that long to do a little to do a little bump, baby, girl. Okay, so Lisa, so Lisa can come out and say you parted parted with him a thousand times. Girl, it don't take that long to go into the restroom, girl, do a little chop, chop, sniff, sniff, and girl, you back out in the party having the time of your life. Hello? Girl. So I'm just saying, girl, it don't take, it don't take that long. Girl, it don't. So you don't know what Andy was doing when he was in the restroom. What Lisa Renna asked the girls? What did Lisa, what did Lisa Renna ask the girls on uh, Beverly Hills at that season? Were y'all doing in the restroom? <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, as far as Leah, you know, I really never watched Real Housewives of New York. Um, I mean, I, I have heard stories of these shows um, throwing alcohol down some of the cast members' throats to kind of get the scenes popping, right? You know, Leah is someone who struggles with um, is it alcoholism? I believe. Can't remember. Um, I think. I think. I think. I think. Um, I don't. I can't remember. She talked about it on Ultimate Girl Ultimate Girls Trip. Um, I don't want to sound insensitive, but I also feel like it's grown men and women who are sometimes you um, have to be held responsible for some of your actions. We don't see Candy ever having to pick up a drink. So if you felt like Andy was forcing you to drink at some point, you have to also say, oh, I see how this is going. This is not the envir environment for me. One thing I want to say is this. One, one of the reasons why I always had respect for Ebony K. Williams, even though I did not watch her season, I, I tapped in and tapped out. Um, is that Ebony didn't wait until Mad Day to let the people know that these are the issues that I'm having at work, right? She didn't wait 
And, you know, and I know there's not a time limit on the truth and we can't force people to come out and, and tell their experiences. And just because somebody waits five years, 10 years, 15 years does not mean that what they're saying did not happen. Um, but I can always understand in these situations, I'm just talking about this situation at Bravo, not anything outside of what we're talking about. I can understand how some people could be looking at Leah and Brandy kind of sideways, right? Because it's not like y'all left the show and y'all are these big time housewives like the Lisa Vanderpumps and the Candy Burrises. So some people could look at Brandy as if, oh girl, you're just doing this because your money is dry. <laughs> Leah, you're just doing this because your money is dry, right? Ebony, when she had issues with well, whatever was well, what, 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 with whatever what was going on at Bravo, she don't wait. She didn't wait like Nene waited until you know she was upset at Bravo to say, well, this is what's going on at Bravo. Ebony said right here and there, this is what's going on, and I don't like it. It needs to be fixed. Um, but past that, Andy girl, outside investigation, girl, <laughs> girl. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> girl, <laughs> okay, <laughs> you're an outside investigation. Uh, it is what it is, girl. I don't keep up with uh, Leah nor Brandy or really Andy like that, to be honest. We really talk about Andy mostly because, girl, when we talk about the housewives, um, <laughs> girl, we're gonna call it thick a thing, girl. Girl, let me say something. It's been a couple of times where, girl, I done looked at Andy and I could tell that he was hiding the kite. <laughs> it's been a couple of times. Girl, when Andy started doing all that, girl, I said, look at her. Look at her. Girl, look at her. Girl, you can't even walk straight. Girl, half-ass smile and that sideways smile. That walk into the side, bobblehead and shit. I say, okay, girl. There she go. There she go. Shout out to Andy, though. Anyways, let's move on. <laughs> Girl, I wanted to talk about this. This is just a quick one, too. So the other day, y'all know it was a Met Gala. And, baby, did y'all see Kim Kardashian? <laughs> Girl, this is so random. Girl, I wanted to talk about Tiana Taylor. Did y'all see Kim Kardashian? I know some of the people did not like what Kim had on. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I went up for Kim's look. I did. I thought her look was sickening. I thought the sweater was sickening. I thought the dress was sickening. I thought the hair. I loved everything about Kim's look. I did. <laughs> I'm not going to say a lot of y'all. I went up for Kim's look. There were a few looks that I went up for. It wasn't a lot. It wasn't a lot. Even though Kim's look was kind of still safe, I think what did it for me was that corset. <laughs> when I saw that corset, I said, God! <laughs> I said, girl, what is going on? Girl, what is going on, Kim? Baby, when I tell you, you know. Let me try to find that picture. Hold up. When I tell you, you know that Kim, you know, Kim is going Kim is gonna starve over fashion. Shout out to the girls who don't eat for fashion. Cause I can't do it. Cause girl, I was over here, girl, eating a bag of <laughs> eating a bag of Starburst. Girl, acting like I was Andre Leon Talley. Girl, judging the girls. Girl, when kid girl, girl, girl. Speaking of Speaking of Starburst, girl, I'm over here like this. I know that bitch is hungry. Damn! Girl, you can't even breathe, girl! I know that bitch didn't eat all goddamn month. You know she ain't ate. Look at her. About to pass out. All in the name of fashion. Girl, I'm over thinking about a pork chop sandwich. And this bitch on the red carpet about to pass. I can't even breathe. Because she's trying to do something different. Girl. It's cute, though. It's cute. Oh, that's a lot, though. I couldn't have did it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Girl, you are not about to squeeze my insides for no dress. I'm not doing it. Look at him. Can't even walk up the stairs. Girl, not to have to lift her up. Girl! 
I had to look her up, girl. <laughs> girl. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Girl, that was me over here. But Kim was cute. I love Kim's look. It was a corset for me. Girl, Kim, you know, she not going to eat. Kim not going to eat. And when she do eat, it's going to be bird food. <laughs> she going to do just enough. Just so she can wake up the next day. <laughs> okay? She going to nibble on a, little, a few pieces of lettuce and drink a little bit of water. I guarantee you, Kim probably didn't eat all day. <laughs> Girl, Kim didn't eat all day that day. <laughs> I'm telling y'all. Anyways, this is what I wanted to talk about. Tiana Taylor and Iman. So, Tiana Taylor was at the Met Gala. And this is what Iman had to say. Yeah, you ate, but I ain't telling you that ish. <laughs> and then someone else put keep it 100, and then he responded, LOL. It was a cute way to say she killed it, but people don't laugh enough in life. The reason why some of us were, were, were side-eyeing you, Iman, is because we remember Tiana saying this. This is according to the Daily Mail, and this was November 2023. Tiana Taylor accused Iman of being jealous of her fame and narcissistic when she uh, secretly filed for divorce 10 months ago following 70 years of marriage. So let me just get to the part where she talked about him supposedly being jealous. Okay, so in the legal docs, uh, the white man can't jump. Actress said the relationship was doomed by Iman's insecurity about their respective levels of fame and whether he was good enough for her. Um, Taylor in court docs accused Iman of treating her cruelly and displaying extreme narcissistic, narcissistic behavior throughout the majority of their marriage. Um, Taylor said Iman was envious of her. Um, and, aggra and aggravated by her no notoriety, even at a time where he was surging in his NBA career, inking a four-year, $40 million contract deal with the K Cleveland uh, Cavaliers in 2015 after taking in $8 million with the New York Knicks for his uh, salary the previous season. Uh, Taylor said Iman was especially rankled when they would attend public events and photo uh, photographers would request he step out of the frame so that they could get pictures of her solo. Taylor said Iman became more and more angry with her fame and would grill her about it and provoke arguments via text messages, later saying he was sorry in a toxic and repeating cycle. Um, Taylor said that she began to intentionally dim her light for her husband to try to have a harmonious and peaceful marriage, even passing on projects because he did not want her to work. Taylor said Iman, uh, and see, this is, this, this is what I'm talking about, and then y'all be the first ones screaming. If, Ima, if, 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 T, if, Tiana tried, if Tiana tried to take half of their money, girl, that y'all would be the first ones, not y'all, but y'all, would be the first ones screaming, talking about, nah, 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 she needs to get a job. She was trying to work. These niggas don't want y'all to work. And then when it's, when it's mad, then it's time to pay the piper. Girl, all of a sudden, it's, girl, it's my money. Girl, I could have been making my own money. Okay? That's why I say, always keep your jobs. <laughs> always keep your jobs. Don't be no fool like Porsche and quit your jobs. Hello? Be in love, but make sure that, girl, if the love ever ends, you you ain't out here scraping up pennies trying to make sure you got somewhere to lay your head. Hello? Anyways. Um, Taylor said that Iman could not be satisfied no matter what she did, as he would complain about her not bringing income into the household after she passed on work. Taylor said in court docs that she did her best to uh, keep their marriage going in spite of Iman's uh, being I Iman being extremely emotionally and mentally abusive towards her. And then remember that was that clip going around of Iman saying that Tiana doesn't like when he when Iman brings stuff to social media, and the first thing he does is go to social media because he knows that it pisses her off. <laughs> I know y'all remember that. And so it just reminded me of, girl, here you go again, running down to social media, right? And now you, out of your own words, his own words, yeah, you ate, but I, I, I ain't telling you that shit. You're jealous. Girl. You're jealous. You're jealous of your wife. Girl. And, it's, and, and, and that's what it is. And that's what it is. Tiana was cute at the, um, I didn't go up for Tiana's look. I thought that, I thought, I really and truly, I thought that dress was a dress she could have worn. To any red carpet, but I thought she looked nice. She looked she she looked bad. She did, she looked good. 
I'm going to tell you who I went up for. Girl, let's talk about some of these girls. Hold up. Okay. I'm going to show you my favorite. I'm going to save to last. Nicole Kidman. I thought Nicole Kidman looked fab. I did. She really could have worn that dress to any other occasion, too, but I still loved it, though. I thought Nicole looked fab. Coleman. I didn't I didn't too, I didn't go up for his Met Gala look. I went up for the look after the Met Gala. <laughs> okay, now this was the look. I was like, oh, this is cute. Girl, I might even step out in this. Hello? Girls, I know that's right. That was cute to me. Well, I think his name is Wisdom. I don't really get into his look, his fashion, but I thought this was he was the only man at the Met Gala that I felt like kind of turned it. Now this was cute. I was like, okay, this is cute. Demi Moore. <laughs> Demi Moore. I went up for Demi Moore. Demi Moore's dress was sickening to me. Now, I think this is the designer, I believe. Harris Reed. Oh, I thought this was so sickening. <laughs> I did. I thought it was sickening. Girl, what's up? Lena Del, Lena Del Rey. I thought her, I liked her look. I thought her look was cute. Amelia Gray, I thought this was fly. Now the hair, I was like, okay, girl, I don't get it. I don't know if I care for the shoes, but I love the dress. The dress was fly. <laughs> and then of course, in the, Zendaya, the black dress with the, with the floral um, hat. I went up for. Now, this right here, I said, who is this? Chloe Sandy? <laughs> you want to say Chloe look a mess, but it was a good mess. Chloe is giving me evil stepsister out of the Cinderella story. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I said, girl, Chloe look a mess, but I went up for It's like a good mess. Girl, I live. <laughs> I said, who is this? <laughs> oh! And then Erica Badu, I love Erica Badu's look. Loved it. Loved her look. And baby, Oh, I forgot her name. What's her name? Mindy Calling. I loved her look too. Her, her look was sickening. I'm not even going to sit here and lie. Oh, and what's her name? Make me sweat. Make me hotter. What's that helpful name? Tyler. Tila. I don't know her name, child. I, th I thought her sand look was sickening too. Yeah. Now, this is my favorite one. Girl, when I tell you, girl, I'm sorry, I love this. Oh! What's this lady's name? I had her name. I had her name saved. Oh, let me try to find her name. Let me see. Gwendolyn Christie. I think that's her name. Gwendolyn Christie. I loved her look. That was probably like my that that was honestly probably my favorite look of the night. That was my probably my favorite look of the night. Her and Harris Reed. Mm-hmm. But yeah, those the, I feel you know, I, I didn't I didn't like, like last year, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. Last year, I think it was Carisha. Carisha with that um that Chanel look, oh baby, I said, oh Miss Miss. When I tell you, girl, I think I think I girl, I think I almost had an orgasm because that's how much I was into uh Carisha's look. And y'all know that dress that Carisha had on last year—that was weave. That was weave in the dress. <laughs> yes, sickening. I thought that shit was so goddamn fly. Ah, oh. oh, God. Yes. Anyways, child, that's all I really wanted. I'm about to try to find me something to eat, and I'll be back later and run my mouth and talk about some more people. All right. Bye, y'all.